There's my bait. I'd have seen it. See them fish moving right there? Got one of them. See him coming there. All right, guys, I was trying to show you all my bait coming down in a little bit of brush right there on the bottom. It's in 14 feet. This is pre-spawn. They're not quite ready to, to uh, lay these eggs yet. Oh, they done laid them. I don't know which one it is because I haven't caught any with eggs in them yet. So it's been an unusual year. A little male. This is a new color. This is Virginia Shad top pearl belly. Now, the other one I made and showed y'all on the Port of Catch Winter today was a uh, silver bullet. It's a lot darker. All right. Yeah, I got my new set. How you like my setup? I'm running off power pack. I should run it for a couple weeks, right? <laughs> All right. Because it's, a, it's, a, it's 500 amps. It's not a big one. It's a smaller one. That's why I carry on this boat. It's all I need. All right, guys. I moved up to a different angle. Just trying to help y'all get a better picture. What's going on? Here's my bait coming right at him. See the fish moving? All right, got one up. There he comes out of the brush there. All right, guys. I pulled up a little bit on that brush. So y'all could see it better. It's just a little bit of a treetop. This time of year, pre-spawn, spawn, any cover in the water, they'll be on like that, okay? So wh where do you find them during spawn? He's got a mark on him too. How most of these fish I cast got marks on him. He's that nurse right at 10 inches on this new color. Um, any brush, you can see his little trig right there. It doesn't take much. Any of these little trees that fall in the water, and it's a bunch down through. I can see a tree down there one on the opposite side of the lake there's two in the back of this cove that's where I'm headed I'm headed to the back of this cove bam there you go guys now I say another thing a crap you like to use during the spawn is boathouse uh, boat houses this, there hadn't been any fish on this boathouse I've checked it a couple times in the weeks past none today's the first time I've seen them on it Say it's been so windy, guys. I haven't got to fish. Shoot, I haven't fished for like uh, seven or eight days. But I can look back here and see. See right there? I go, look at that. I go like, there's a bunch of crab. This bait, oh, probably at least 30 right there. I'll tell you the funny part. There's some guys up here. Y'all can't see them probably. They're right up here. They come down here and stopped right here in front of this boathouse. They got menace. And they stopped and they sat. And they watched me. They see me catch a couple of fish. So when I left up there, they went up there where I was. <laughs> What's funny about that? They left a bunch of crappy right here. They didn't even fish right here. Uh, I think they thought, he's, there's fish. And they good chance they fished there before. You know what I'm saying? They knew it was, they knew it was there. It's a, little, it's a little tree top there, guys. Like I told you. I showed you. It's a little piece of tree top there. So it's a good chance they know it because the guy in the other boat, that I was talking to earlier, oops, this group's far. And I'm going to tell you what, this color right here in the clear water is just going to be unbelievable good. Y'all can see the water. I have no trouble seeing my transducers. This water right here is probably two and a half foot visibility at least. I said two foot, I think, earlier, but I think it's better more than that. I didn't get close to them that time, I don't think. I don't see my bait. I'm not looking for it, guys. I just look back here and seen the fish and uh started fishing let's get back a little further oops whoa what hit me on it in all right this time i got back or closer to the dock itself i should get bit this time there you go see if you can get back there they're way back there guys they're, they're back there about one two three maybe three or four post now these are just males i have caught some big fish here before in the past uh the people have been here a couple times and i've pulled in here and they're building a the house here now and I've talked to them they had a camper so they're just males but they're a lot of fun they like this new color I'm gonna tell you that and I'm throwing a 1 16th ounce head so I can get back that far because they're way back there ah, I, I didn't do a good job that time did I <laughs> oh, this poor little fish look guys I threw back there and my bait went on top of the the boat lift okay 
I thought was shoot I got to get that back before I had a chance before I had a chance to get it back that fish hit me I reeled him in and I couldn't get him up over the boat lift I had to pull a couple times finally I got him up off that boat lift <laughs> poor little fella he took a ride didn't he and this night like he's a little bit bigger he's not nice decent fish it's a nice fish for two pound test and my line all frayed up. <laughs> That's a decent one. That old uh, natural looking color there. All right. Well, then by docks, you gotta, you gotta get the fish around those dock posts and stuff <laughs> before you can get them in. I tell you, the wind's gotten up some now, guys. It's making it a little tough for me to feel the bait. Fill the bait and uh, hold my boat still. Come here. Okay. Uh, let me get my let me get my fish getter here. He hit that. He wanted it. I'm gonna show you all the bait here in a minute. There it comes. He's about ten. Hey, hit my rod. I hit the rod, didn't I? Now, this is a fluke. Let me get you where y'all can see here. I'm sorry, guys. This is a fluke. All right. This is the silver bullet top. Uh, pearl bottom with holographic flake. I'm pretty close to the dock, guys, because of that ball right there. I like to be where the ball is, but I can't. But my spot lock there. The wind's blowing. I have to run it some closer than I want to be. But it makes it hard to get up underneath the dock, too, because I don't have room to really fling that bay hard. You know what I'm saying? To skip it. You could shoot it, I reckon. Some of y'all guys are shooters. You could shoot that bait. I don't know where it's at here. My line's hung on the dock. I'm way too close. There you go. Getting the back that far is tough. I'm gonna net this one just because I don't think I got him hooked good. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I notice I got that stain off. I had a stain right here developed the other day on my boat, right there. I don't know where it come from. I took last night, I took power washer cleaner. Y'all know I power wash houses before I paint them. So in my garage, I store all my power washer stuff and my power washer and all that stuff in my garage. I just got my power washer cleaner I had mixed up. I had some with that bleach in it. That's a nice fish, guys. He's probably right at 11. He's probably 10 and 3 quarter. And I sprayed the whole front end down with that power washer cleaner. And I was making baits in the bait shop there. So I let it set for a while. Came back and sprayed it again. Let it set for a while. And I got the shop vac out and vacuumed it really good a couple times. And uh, it took it out. But... You can still see it's still stained here some from where I walk all the time. And who knows what else gets on it, right? All right, let's get back a little. I'm going to go see if we can find some more, guys. This little bait right here, working just good. Working great. Look at that. Bam. How many bags y'all want? Come off that dock pace, see? This is on dock pace. Come off. I got four-pound test. So I can't pull it so hard. That's like a nice one. Oh, it is a nice one. Somebody asked me in another video comment, they said, you only fish with your baits in the videos. Why don't you fish with something else? I said, well, that's because I'm selling my baits. If you see me catch fish like that, guys, on my bait, you sit there and watch me cast it underneath the dock and fill him out, you know that you know they work, right? There you go. Bam. You know they work, don't you? All right. I think I'm going to call this color meal time. Yeah. I thought about calling it shad or real shad because it looks like a little minnow. I already have a bait named Minna. I already have uh, Virginia Shad. It gets confusing, guys, on my website and for us stock uh, uh, filling packages. I've got one called Cotton Candy and one called Sea Candy. And the other day I looked, uh, and one called I got one called Sea Candy and one called Candy and Cotton Candy. I looked at the order of the day and somebody had bought candy. I picked up Sea Candy, laid it on the table as I'm packing. Y'all see where I got my setup. And it hit me when I looked back at the order. I went, wait a minute, dummy, that's candy. That's your new color. So I, that's why I keep trying try not to use the same word, even for something else to find it again. I made a mistake on that one. In fact, I might change sea candy to, a, to another name. It would help me. Anyway, I think I'm going to call this one meal time because uh, it looks like it looks like a live shad. I've shown this to a couple people. Uh, one of the local boys I ran into, I think I mentioned this on another video, I ran into him at the gas station and I showed him to him. And he's a bass fisherman, but he likes to crappy fish also. He fishes bass tournaments. 
He said, I want some. I'll take a couple bags. <laughs> he said, they look real. I said, I know. I know. And I hadn't even fished with them at that time yet. That is the first day I fished with them, guys. This is the first time. Y'all seen it right here. I, tell, I say this a lot. I take y'all along sometimes with these new bait colors, and I go out and fish. I don't go out and pre-fish with them. This is it. This is the first time I've cast them and fished with them. So uh, if, if they bum out and I don't catch anything, y'all going to find out. I used to. Now, I have made colors I have fished with during the summer, and I'll go out and fish a little bit with them and fool around with them a little bit and uh, just see if I can catch something with them. And I've had colors that I've never caught fish on. <laughs> I've, had, I've had colors that... That just don't work. I've thrown and thrown and thrown. I never caught a fish on. But this is not one of them, as y'all can see. <laughs> this is not one of them. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. This is going to be a little fun video. I'm just introducing this color is all I'm doing. Uh, gosh, that's right in his nose. I don't even know what I'm going to what I'm going to call this uh, video. So we'll come up with a name. Trying to get a little catcher. Got it. He's about 10 inches. I'm trying to get a little bit uh, fancier on my, on my titles. A uh, couple of people and I have talked about it. Sometimes if you put the right title on there, you get more views on it, guys. And I'm trying to build the site to get more views. So, but I don't want to exaggerate in my title. Okay, does that make sense to you? Because I watch some of these videos uh, that some of these people make, and they have an exciting title, and I watch the video, and go like, huh? <laughs> or they'll say, pick crappy, and so whatever. And the crappie's 11 inches. Now, 11 inch crappies are really nice crappie. But that's not a big crappie. A big crappie is 13, 14, 15, 16 inches, right? That's a big crappie. 11 inch is a real nice one. Because when a 10 inch is a keeper, you can keep, you can't, most lakes you can't keep them until they're 10 inches. Some lakes are 11 inches. So 11 inches is just a keeper. <laughs> but anyway, I try to be honest as I can on my videos, guys, if y'all noticed that. Uh, I think the Lord wants us to do that. He don't want us to mislead people in any in any form, not even on YouTube. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all hear this building going on? There's three new houses here side by side. You notice there's three new boat houses here, uh, and one across behind me. Two before is almost eight dollars a piece. It amazes me that people are still building. And that's not a little house either. It's a basement with two stories. It's two stories, maybe a story, two stories and a half. Yeah, it's huge. All right, guys, appreciate y'all. My name's Dennis. Hope you enjoyed this little fun video. Catch y'all next time, Fishing Lake Country.